All right, let's get started, guys. Okay, this is uh, UTA80 uh, creating a video for my um, drafting one students, uh, guys. Uh, all right, so let's just get started. I know that I promised you that I was going to develop a summon number three in it. I show you on the review before what a summon three was about um, and, you know, some uh, previews about it. But we're just going to get in depth, in really not in depth, in depth on it and we'll see how. Okay, let me just uh, start a new document just for our purposes to make things better. Decimals and, um, and then I'll show you a little trick. Here we're gonna set up to be 200 or 300 rather width and in the height uh, let's make it uh, let's make it well, 400. What the hell, why not? All right, so then our I want to set up our snap. So let's start with the first image. We know that I'm gonna do the top view first, okay, guys. So let's just start counting units. I'm gonna type in 12 enter for my first uh, intersection and then I'm gonna continue going with 56 enter and then I'm gonna go with uh, 44. 44 enter and if you ask me where where is he getting those animations from well again it's from your homework right here 12 56 and 44 all right and I'm gonna go up um, well how much well that's uh, 44 minus 14 well let's just see 44 minus 14 and let's see if this will works uh, it's not like probably all right so it doesn't matter so 44 minus 14 is 30 and uh, I'm gonna go out this way and I have uh, 12 and 12. That's gonna be nice. So 12 and 12 and then 44, 44. So I'm reducing 12 from one side. So that's uh, 32 and then another one. So I'm gonna go here, 30 units. I'm gonna go down here to where it matches this unit so I don't have to count any units. Enter and then I'm gonna go out here, 12 units. And I'm gonna go up, um, the same as this one right here and then I'm gonna go all out to um, to where all right well sorry for the confusion there it's just uh, all right so Again, let's go back to this sheet right here. I got 22 starting from this corner down to here, and then I got 16, and then I have, I'm supposed to have 12. How, why? I don't know. I know that I have to have 12 in there. Well, easy, because what is 12 plus 22? I mean, 16 plus 22 minus 15, that is supposed to give you 12, okay? All right, well, let's just uh, get going on that. I'm done with the, with the, uh, with the tab view, right? I think I got, I think I have everything in there. Let me just go back to this part right here to my, uh, yeah, I have, I think I have everything on it. I don't think I'm, I'm missing anything. So let's just build the top view, okay, the front view. So very easy, very easy, right? I'm gonna go starting from this to this. Notice the extra lines that I'm getting in there with well, the line, right? Uh, let me just grab down here. Notice those extra lines that I was talking about earlier. Those are called extension lines. Now the extension lines allows me to draw without needing to uh, trace every step of the way. Okay, so as you can see, I'm I'm drawing like very comfortably. I'm not. I don't. I don't have to worry about any more dimensions because I know where my intersection points are going to be at. And I think I got a mistake as usual. Okay, let me just, uh, let me do this, okay? I'm going to draw a line from here to here, straight. You'll be all right. Now, I know that for a fact that it's where my intersection line is because according to my drawing, that it's where it begins, right? Can you see that? Right there, right there. All right, well, let me just uh, trim it off. It will actually cut it to where it intersects the other geometry, okay? All right, well. Let's just get to it, and I need to draw another line from here down to there. Wow, okay. I think I have a missing line, and I know it's uh, going to be 16 units up, so I'm gonna uh, retire. It was 20 units. So I'm gonna go up here, and uh, notice that I'm not putting any, inc any input value. I'm not clicking anywhere. I'm just telling uh, 20 in my keyboard. And that what, that's what creates my 20. And then I'm drawing, uh, I'm gonna draw another line from here to here. Escape, and then I say trim. 
if you have a better technique to do this, do it by all means. I'm just using something that it's a little more, um, um, that will work a little faster. Now this line, it's supposed to be a hidden line. So yes, you have to create a new, new layers as well. And then I'm gonna say here, hidden. And then I'm gonna change that to that, and I'll say okay. Close. But I forgot to load my hidden line. Load H hidden. Okay. Okay, you see my hidden lines in there? Yeah, I see it's a little it, I might have to adjust the line scale. I'm gonna say 0.25. Maybe not good idea. Maybe say two. There we go. Okay, two was better. Now, now, okay, fine. Okay, but you see, you get it, right? I hope you do. I'm sorry, guys. I I know I'm I'm being sloppy right now, but I, I'm just a little tired, okay? Um, but you get the idea. Now, let's just uh, work the other part, and then we'll call it night, okay? Let me just uh, create a rectangle that's gonna go from here uh, to maybe there, okay? I'm just eyeballing things around right now because I'm being really uh, dumb right now, but I do know, because of my extension lines, that that's the height. Okay, now I know that I'm gonna have a line that comes up from this uh, all the way across, okay? And uh, I know there's gonna be another line that's gonna be coming across from there to there. And trim, enter twice. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, and I know that there's going to be uh, lines. Uh, okay, so we're going, we're going to go in 12 or 14. No, actually, yeah, 14. From here to here, we're going to go in 14. And then down. Enter. And uh, we know from here to here, we're going to go 12. So another line. It starts there, and then we're going to say 12. Enter, and then down with it. Enter. Now be very careful because these two lines right here, not this one. Let me just uh, clean it up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna offset now. No, no, I'm not gonna offset anything. I'm gonna create another line that goes from here to here, 12 units. And then all the way down. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna offset that line 16 units. Okay, let me clean it up now. Trim. Uh, we need that. Enter. We don't need this line. Line. Uh, we don't need this line. We don't need that line, and we don't need this line either. Let me actually say trim one more time. <laughs> I'm gonna change the type of scale to number two. Okay, a lot of details, but wow. Okay, well I don't I don't need this line right here. And uh, I need to cop. I need to put this. Uh, Actually, I don't even know why I have this line here. Okay, guys. So, this is what you're supposed to be looking for. What I'm going to be looking for. That you have all proper setup lines. That everything is looking fine and great on that. Um, 
I'm gonna stop the video here right now because um, I need to edit it. Uh, hopefully, you could, um, you know, you get the idea on what to do for this video more um, and try to slow things down a bit. All right. Okay. Until until next time. Uh, this is your TA. Stay positive. Think positive, and you'll see the outcome. Okay. I appreciate you guys viewing my videos, and I'll see you all next week. Have a good weekend. Bye.